happy friday i have not vlogged in so long so one thing i want to say before i get started is don't forget to subscribe don't forget to hit that notification bell and share this video if you care so so much has happened since my last vlog which i think was the botanical garden when we went to see my husband and i went to see um yayo kusuma and since then my birthday has passed um, my husband surprised me with a trip to Arizona for my birthday. I've, I've always wanted to do this like south southwestern type of vibe feel. So it was an amazing trip. Um, so many bucket list items were checked off while I was out there. One of my top was hot air balloon. Um, funny thing, when we first started dating, uh, I made a list of things that we would do like for dates during the summertime and I had hot air balloon ride on the list and I asked him to him like remember I had that on the list and he just laughed he's like yeah so that's something I've always wanted to do so to be able to do it for my birthday was amazing I had a good time my friends surprised me as well um, and I'll show some clips so take a look to see what it was like when I was out in Arizona so yeah as you can see uh had an amazing time and now this weekend uh my friends back in town we're literally going out to eat we're here at vita verde's and um i'm actually waiting for her so she's coming from out of town and I literally just headed out to the city and she's delayed. She's usually always on time. So it's funny, like now I'm here first. I'm just waiting for her to arrive so we can go inside. We're gonna grab some food and drinks and then we're gonna head out to see the show. Um, it's a new, I think it's an off, it's an off Broadway show called Blindness. Okay, so Blindness is a play narrated by Juliet Stevenson and um, it, it's a story about resilience and hope guiding us out of that darkness into like a positive space being that all of us have all endured being in the pandemic and um, it's like storytelling through light sound there are going to be moments of darkness during the show which i don't know why i'm excited about it's so weird like to be in complete darkness i like experiences and i like unique and new cool things so i definitely um we'll give you guys my rating once the show's over let you know what my thoughts were um if you should go and check it out if it's worth it tickets were how much were tickets thirty dollars or something like that so tickets weren't that expensive um and it's a 70 minute show so i'm hype about that getting ready to see that after we have some drinks and cocktails at vita verde so Right now, I'm just waiting for my friend to get here. Um, and then we're gonna go kick it rooftop style. I think they only have drinks on the rooftop. So we're gonna eat and then go up to the rooftop for drinks. See you guys in a few. Peace. So right now we're here at Vita Verde.
a few moments later. So we just finished eating our tacos. What would you rate your tacos? Well, we both shared. Okay, yeah. So we had mahi mahi tacos, and tacos, the no shrimp tacos. Yeah. Shrimp tacos, ten out of ten. Mahi mahi, which is fish. That was good, right? Yeah. So now we we managed to find like oh, what time is it? A little bit of time to come up to the rooftop, which is so pretty up here to have a shot and then we're gonna head out because we have to catch our show after this but it's so pretty I'm gonna show you guys how it looks up here getting to the show and then we were turned around because we got there six minutes late so just FYI if you do end up going to see this show you want to make sure you get there at least 10 minutes before or there on the dot because if you don't they will turn you away so our last option is to try to go tomorrow or Sunday which is the goal and see the show and then give you guys uh, feedback on what it's like so now we're gonna try to parlay and figure out what we're gonna do tonight. Stay tuned, see you guys soon. The next day. We're gonna try this again. Um, unfortunately, you guys remember, we're supposed to see the show Blindness on Friday and things didn't work out because we got there six minutes late, which is crazy. So now attempting again to get out there so I can see the show. My friend, unfortunately, wasn't able to see it with me. So my husband's with me today. We're gonna her go her see the show. Right here. My best friend, one of my best friends, my bestest friend. So we're gonna go see the show now and definitely give you an honest review of the entire experience. There are gonna be periods of the show where we're in complete darkness. It's supposed to take us through like a series of emotions. I'm so curious about this whole entire thing. I'm I'm a little bit of com confused, but that's partly why I kind of wanted to see it because it was interesting. So we're heading to the city now, and when we get there, um, I'll see you guys soon. Bye. Okay, so we just got here to the city. We're gonna go check out at the theater to see if we're able to catch the 5 p.m. show because technically our tickets are really for 1 p.m. So we're gonna make sure we're secure on that and then we're gonna go grab food because we're really, really hungry. And then we'll come back to see the show. I think y'all might have a good idea of what we might grab since we're in the city. What are you thinking? Listen, I'll let the fans determine that because after watching so many of uh, Tay's vlogs, you probably already know what we are craving, or at least I'm craving. I literally had that Friday, so. Oh, you did? Yeah, I did. That Vita Verde, yep. It's my turn. So yeah, I think you guys know what we'll probably get. Um, oh, it's a closet. This is where Troy had that issue. Really, where he, uh... <laughs> this is where uh, it all went down, the plaza. Places to get chicken tenders, truffle fries, things of that nature. So good. I guess you guys thought we were getting tacos. Yeah, we, yeah. Switch it up on y'all. What'd you get? 
get? So I got this Thai Fiesta because the sauce on there looks like Chipotle sauce. And I love Chipotle. And it also looks like honey mustard. Anything with like some sort of zingy, zest cream sounds crazy, but I like that. So I tried, tried uh, the Thai, Thai Fiesta. Fiesta. Look at that. What kind of fries? Regular fries? Regular fries. Yo, I'll let you taste some of the uh, truffle parm fries because they're really okay. good. Yeah, so this is my first time here. This is my husband's recommendation. You're going to love it. And I think I'm going to love it. Oh, yeah. I decided to try the mango mint splash drink. Um, the cashier told us it was actually really good and that they were just freshly made today, which I love. Freshly made by the restaurant, so we're gonna try it then. We have got the strawberry lemonade. So, I'm gonna give an honest review. Looks like it's really good anyways, and let you guys know what I think. A few moments later. Honest review, I have to say that Sticky's was actually really, really good. I wasn't sure at first, but the chicken tenders were on point. The sauces were amazing. My fries with the sauces were great. The freshly squeezed drink that they made was amazing. As you can see, I'm like almost completely finished with it. I also tried um, my husband's fries, which were really, really good too. So I'm going to give this place an eight. I'm going to say a nine, but I'm going to say an eight because... I think it's just safe to give it a name, but it was really, really good. If you guys are ever in New York City and you're not a New York native and you're from out of town and you want to find a nice place to come eat right before a show, this is a place you want to come and have some food. Dope. Eventually. Once you put the headphones on, there's a test voice inside um, that lets you know the left ear or the right ear works. Both of our head ear headphones are good. So both of our headphones are working. They're good to go. Um, we're just really sitting under a whole bunch of neon strobe lights and just chilling. I'm excited though. I'm like ready to just experience it. She's different. One hour later. experience honestly was something I never experienced I mean those two guys back here they're literally crying after leaving this experience so it evokes some type of emotional response that is just crazy yeah I mean like I had to take my ears off because see we're wearing headphones the headphones so. were on but um, yeah. it was it was it's a different experience like start to finish like just the theatrics of it all it felt like there were there were long periods of darkness throughout the entire show and it yeah. felt like Julia Stevenson who was narrating it it honestly felt like she was like right in your ear when they say there's like spell binding moments I definitely understand what it meant now 
and at, at first it freaked me out, but I understand where what it meant. It was like um, definitely moments that really made you think, really made you feel like you were in the exact environment that it took place in. I can't even put it all into words. I would have to literally walk you through each part, and I'm still trying to grasp. Everyone everything. should just go. Yeah. buy a ticket so you could experience for yourself because we couldn't record in there so it was an auditory and a visual experience that leaves you feeling a lot of different things but ultimately everything that wifey said is, is accurate the storyline takes you on an emotional roller coaster and you're bound to feel something when you leave you're not you're not gonna leave the experience like you know just and and just you know turn turn the chapter to something right, else you're right. you're going to be thinking about it so we're thinking about it i'm sure we're going to have a long conversation on the way home yeah. in the car it, you know there were moments of high points there were low points it was it was moments of happiness moments of darkness obviously it's it's literally called blindness but uh very much symbolic of of, of what we've probably experienced uh, across the world recently yeah. so check it out this is a dope experience, uh, not for the faint of heart, but definitely, you know, you should check it out. It'll, yeah. it'll leave you feeling something when you leave, yeah, for sure. Definitely. So we're going to head out. Um, it's time to leave, check out. But I definitely appreciate you guys for checking out this vlog. I, like I said, I haven't vlogged in a minute, so this was like my reintroduction again. But... Don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell, and continue to keep up with all my content because there will be more and lots more to come this summer. Peace out, y'all. Hey guys, don't leave my channel just yet. Don't forget to check out the latest videos here on my YouTube channel.